In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how you can create your own banners. Uh, first thing you need to do is download a program called Paint.net, and you can see the website at the bottom of the video. Now, once you've downloaded and installed that, this and open it up, this is what you're going to see. Now, to create our banner, the first thing we need to do is to set the size. Normally, you're going to want a banner about 125 pixels high and anywhere from 650 to 750 characters wide. So let's just go up here to image, go to canvas size, and then we'll do a width and a height. So let's make this 650. And we'll get rid of this maintain aspect ratio by 125. Click OK. We now have our banner background or our banner size sitting here. Now from here there are several things we could do. We can add a picture to it and put some text on it. We could just make it a certain color and I'll show you how to do a few of these things. Now if we wanted our background just to have a certain color to it, what we would do is we would add a layer and some colors. So we're going to do everything in layers. So let's go to layers, add a new layer. You'll see the layer pops up on the block over here. It says layer 2, and we have a little box that pops up here. So a new image, new canvas size, a new layer. This is our history box. So let's put that back. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Okay, so what we can do here is we can go ahead and use some of the tools on the side here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to use the paintbrush, and we're going to give this a background color now. So what we can do is just pick one off the wheel that we like or we can click more and we can expand it here and there's a different way to choose colors but you can pick your color from here by clicking on one of these, clicking inside the wheel, putting the color code in here however you want to do it. I'm just going to pick this color as an example so I push the paint fill or the bucket fill which is this one and you can just hold your mouse over any of these tools and if we just click in there you'll see that we now have a colored background okay so for our next step what we do is we create another layer so we'll add a new layer and here we could say if we wanted to put some text on here so what we would do is pick the text which is this one then we want to pick a color for our text. This little thing here just swaps the color. So I want my text white. I'm going to do that, but you could pick white out of here as well just by clicking on it. And then what I do is I just place this where I want my text to start. I start typing. Let's put okay, and then while it's still on there, if we're not happy with that, we can go up here and change it. We'll make it bold and then we can change the size and the font. Let's make the font something else here. Let's say we want that to be the font. We want a little bigger. Okay, and then once we're happy with that, we can drag it around just by putting our mouse on this little cross here and doing that. Okay, so we have that there. If we wanted more text, we could just do this again. Just click on the text thing and just click in here somewhere where we want to start again inside the banner. So if we want a little text over here, click here and we go. Something like that. And again, we can change the size of it and fonts and so on up here. Can move it around by grabbing a hold of the little cross there. Okay, once we're happy with it, we can add another layer. And we can do something else with it. So you just basically do everything in layers. So let's say we wanted to put an image on this side. 
Now we could either create an image layer or we can create a regular layer like we did. So let's undo the last action. Let's do an undo. So what we could do is we could do an import from file. So if we click on this, then we can find a picture that we want to add on here. Now it would have to be resized first. So what I would suggest you do, if you're going to put like an ebook cover or something on here, I would resize it first. And that's easy to do. What we can do is we can just open another one. So we'll do an open. And then we just bring in the image we want in a separate area here. So here it is here. And now what we can do is we can resize it. So if we go back to image, click resize. See right now it's 162 by 200. We have absolute size on here and maintain aspect ratio. So if we make this bottom one 125, the top one adjusts automatically. So let's click OK. And it's resize that for us to be the same height as our banner. Now we'll do a save as and we'll save it as something else. Okay, and then we've got to go through this thing and click OK so it saves it. Now if we click up here, we can bring the banner back. And then we can go layer. And like I was saying, import from file. Find the one we just created here, which is this one, and there it is there. Now you notice that the background color picked up because it wasn't a transparent image, but what we can do is we can use the magic wand to match the color. So all we have to do is go over here, go to the, well first let's go to the color picker. Click on the color we want. So we have to go back to the proper layer, which is this layer. Click on the color and you'll see it resets it here. I'll go back here. Now with the magic wand, what we have to do is click on it. Okay, and then everything that is that color. Okay, so it selected the white area around there because that's where we click. So it selected all the white. Now what we do is do the bucket fill and then click inside there. And you'll see that it has now changed the white to the same color as our background. So that's how we add color, text, and an image to a banner. Now that everything's complete, all we have to do is save it. So what we do is we do a file, do a save as, then we're going to pick a spot where we want it on our computer. We'll just leave it where it is here. I'll call it banner. Now there are different types. You can save it down here. If you save it as a paint.net, it'll save the project as you have it now. But if we want to save it, for instance, a JPEG, we can pick JPEG here, do a save. And then it goes through to ask us about the settings and quality. So we'll just leave the defaults there tell us that we have to flatten it and there it's done now we can open our image with our browser okay so here's our banner if we click on it it'll open it in the viewer there's what it looks like and we can also open it by doing an open with and without whatever browser using it as Firefox And there's our banner in Firefox, all ready to use wherever we want. That's a quick tutorial on how to create banners using Paint.net. For a more comprehensive lesson on how to use Paint.net, you can see our comprehensive video series.